guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So we're gonna start a little bit different. Um, I need to get some things from my mud bench. So today's video will, you'll see me um, paint the mud bench and see how that comes out. Um, and then also we need to decorate it. So we're at Hobby Lobby this morning um, and we're gonna go ahead and get, grab some things. And then also Kirkland's is in the same shopping center. And then where else did we need to go? Home Depot. So you're gonna see all that throughout this video. So please enjoy. Okay, so tell me why we ended up with Christmas decor when we were in there for floral. <laughs> I don't know, but I couldn't pass it up. It looks so good, guys. I cannot wait for Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. I just, I love Christmas. So just a sneak peek of little things that are going to be in our home. I love that little gnome. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with my mud bench today. Um, I'm going to clean it all up first, paint it, and we'll see how it comes out, okay? So we have to get everything together here. There's a lot of mess. If you're wondering why I have an extension cord, it is a long story. It has something to do with my washer and dryer. I will go over that um, when we finally do the reveal of the laundry room when it's all done, but that's why there is an extension cord coming from the laundry room to this plug here. So stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get started and clean it all up. Oh, and then I don't have any paint clothes, so you guys know that in order to get this home, we have to get some second jobs just to come up with our down payment, which was $66,000. So I'm wearing my DoorDash t-shirt that I hope to never have to do ever again. So this can get paint on it. And then I just got some old shorts. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm just starting to clean up that area, make sure it's really nice and clean before we put paint on that beautiful mud bench. It's important to make sure that you clean everything so that way you can get a really good um, coat of paint on that on the mud bench or any project that you're doing. It's just always good to clean the space so I'm just taping off the floor there I don't want to get any paint anywhere that doesn't need to have paint and then there I go again vacuuming everything I just really wanted to make sure that it was clean so I'm a little bit like I told you guys a little OCD Seems like we've been cleaning and prepping for the longest and we haven't done anything, so let's actually get into it now. <laughs> so most of you may remember that we did a poll of what we would paint this particular um, mud bench. And so we're going to paint it Black Beauty. The color was Benjamin Moore, but my cousin um, advised us to be using Sherman Williams just because um, he just felt like it was just a better paint overall and the quality of it, so we decided to do that, but Sherman Williams was able to color match. So again, we still have Black Beauty, it's Benjamin Moore, is the color, um, so it's Benjamin Moore brand, and their color is Black Beauty, but we just used for our particular paint, Sherman Williams, and they did a color match for us. Today we're using Emerald as one of their top lines. This is in a semi-gloss, and um, yeah, we're gonna use it here as a latex finish, so it should dry hard. This right here, I believe it's a latex, finish or semi-gloss. It could be satin, but I really wanted the mud bench to pop and I wanted it to have a durable finish just in case we do start to utilize it. And I want to put a seat on here. So in this video, you'll see me make my very first um, mud bench cushion. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not a sewer. I'm not a 
Um, I'm just, I'm just, that's not my thing. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt to do that. And then, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get it painted. I'm gonna go ahead and tape off these knobs and um, we're gonna get started. So let's go ahead. So I was nervous at first putting that black paint on there and that um, particular paintbrush that I have, it was a two inch latex paintbrush and it had like a diagonal, um, it had like an angle, it was an angle brush, which was pretty good. Um, it helped with the lines, but as you see there, I should have taped it off first to not to get on the walls and I didn't do that. So that most definitely was an amateur move there. So don't do that. Make sure that you tape off the corners of the area. So yeah. All right, so now I'm painting, got a good portion of it. I did start off with the paint. I mean, um, like as you see, the bench is like pretty much almost all painted and I forgot to turn on the camera. So yeah, that's a rookie move there. Matt this time did not, uh, he was not the camera guy for me. I actually put it on my daughter's ring light and was um, painting. So yeah, I forgot to have it rolling. He came upstairs and said, is the camera rolling? And I'm like, oh, dang. So yeah, sorry about that guys. But as you can see, I'm just doing the cubbies there. I think that was like the worst part because like my neck was like killing me trying to get in there. If I had to take it back again, I most definitely would have sprayed it because it just, it was a lot of time to do all of this. Um, it took about two days in total. So I guess it wasn't too bad. But as you can see, I'm shaking my head like never again. I'm so tired. <laughs> But the end result, it came out so good. And guys, my mother-in-law came over today and she saw it and she said, it looks so good. So, you know, once you get the mother-in-law's stamp of approval, you know you did a good job. <laughs> so there, I'm almost done with the first coat of paint. And it's starting to look good. So here you see a lot of brush strokes because I was trying to get as much paint as possible inside those particular cubbies. And because at the top you could actually see the cubbies, um, I wanted to make sure that I painted the top of the cubby. Now at the bottom, you can't see it. So I did not paint the top of the, buddy, uh, the cubbies, but um, everything else is painted. And I just went ahead and repeated the same process and did a second coat. But let's see how it came out. All right guys, so here it is. She looks so beautiful. So this is my mud room. I wanted a black inspired mud room um, because it goes with, of course, our modern farmhouse theme. And so I got these actually today. <clears throat> these are wicker baskets and they're part of the Studio McGee collection and so they're $25 each. I got three of them so far. They didn't have anything else or any more um, in stock so we're going to wait to get some for the bottom. I got this pillow from Home Goods as well as this one as well and I love it. Hey y'all. And I got this one from Kirkland's sign and it just says the mud room, the dirt stops here. And I thought it was so cute. So this is our mud room. It's all done. Um, the, I had to paint some <laughs> some spots or spots over here because it was just got some black paint on it. But tell me what you guys think. Leave some comments in the uh, leave some comments below and let me know what you guys think. So that's it for today, guys. So we'll see you guys next Sunday at eight o'clock. So please make sure you like and subscribe and share it with a friend. See you guys next week. Bye.